Dr. Mindy here, and on this video, I'm gonna show you how to stop bloating. I've heard from you guys. I know many of you are dealing with bloating. You wanna know how to stop bloating. You wanna fix bloating. This video, I'm gonna show you the basics. Okay, we're gonna dive in because there's a lot on bloating. And it's not like I can just stand here and say, take this, this miracle supplement. And one of the, my principles of my channel is to teach you how to heal yourself. So let's go through the causes. Let's talk about identifying the root cause and then let's talk about solutions. So the first thing, this is actually probably one of my favorite pictures. I talk about this all the time in my academy with my patients because there's so much for us to learn about the liver, the gallbladder, the small intestine and the pancreas. These work like a team. So when we're looking at bloating, bloating often happens from the small intestine, but we can't say that it's only the small intestine's problem. We can't even say it's only bacteria's problem because we've got to look at the pancreas, we have to look at the liver, the gallbladder, and then this thin little straw here you'll hear me talk about is called the common duct, bile duct. So when you're bloating, you have what I want you to, to register in your brain. You have a dysbiosis of this team. So somewhere there is a problem with the small intestine, the pancreas, the gallbladder, the common bile duct and the liver. So just cause we're feeling it in the gut doesn't mean that that's where the problem is. So we want to know what's going on in these areas. So once we know it's not just I ate too much or it's I did the wrong things or uh, it's my genetics, all that stuff, throw that stuff out. Uh, what we can now do is say, okay, one of these organs is not functioning right. So when we look at identifying the root cause, we've got to figure out which organ is not working right. And for a lot of you, it may be one of these, it may be all four of them. So I wanna make sure that you have the tools to identify which one may be the problem. And let me walk through each one. So, and I'm, that really requires I come over and look at the solution. With the small intestine, there is something called SIBO, which is small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. And SIBO is very complicated and a whole nother video, but with SIBO, it, is the, it can be good bacteria, it can be bad bacteria in the wrong part of the intestinal tract. So one of the ways you would know you have SIBO is when you eat something fibrous, you bloat. So this is the person who eats a carrot and they feel like they're pregnant. And that can be largely because of this imbalance of bacteria in this part of your digestive system. So here are the ways you, you fix that. The first is you gotta starve the, that bacteria. And I don't know a better way of starving bacteria and helping them, the bad ones go out and let the good ones really thrive than fasting. So you're gonna starve the bacteria um, you're gonna fast, practice fasting for, um, I like for bloating, throwing in the 24 hour fast because if you throw that in one at one day a week, it will repair the mucosal lining of the, of the small intestine because you get intestinal stem cells when you go into those longer fasts. So train yourself to get some 24 hour fasts in. As you're doing that, you might need to also stop the fibrous foods. Very rarely that I'll tell you to stop eating vegetables, but if you combine, like if you're a one meal a day person and you're doing 24 hour fasts on a regular basis, like I'm just gonna throw out a protocol. Maybe you would do 24 hour fasts where um, every single day for seven days. And when you do eat, you're just eating meat. The carnivore diet works amazing for bloating, by the way. You're just eating meat and fat and you're removing all fiber out of your diet. Boom, that would create so much change in this small intestine in just one week. Other hacks that we've used in my academy have been Ion Biome. I think you all know I love the Ion Biome. Uh, we'll, put, uh, we'll put in here a link for how you get that. And then my new obsession is hydrogen water. Hydrogen water rebalances the gut. I'm not gonna tell you too much on it because I will be diving into a separate video on hydrogen water, but we're seeing it as this incredible repair for the gut. We're also seeing it as it being helpful for fasting. So that's the small intestine. The second player that we gotta look at is the liver. And here's the interesting thing about the liver. The liver next to your nervous system is the hardest working organ in your body. 
and it needs your love. It needs you to care about it. And if you don't care about it, it can't help you be a good fat burner. It can't help you detox the, to- the bazillion toxins that are in our environment. We need our liver to be well supported. So there's a couple ways you can support it. One is eat more bitter, bitter foods. So these are your radicchio, which is my new favorite obsession to wrap around things like a hamburger. Look at things like collard greens, dandelion tea. Those kind of bitter foods can really help to make sure that you get the liver what it needs. Other tricks is if your liver is congested, you got a lot of bloating, it may be time for a detox. You might need to look at your heavy metal load and you might need to detox. Um, You also might need to stop the influx of toxins. That's the number one rule. And for the liver, it's the alcohol, it's medications. Those are gonna be the biggest insults and triggers for the liver. So you might have to get off alcohol. You might have to pare down the unnecessary medications. Um, Those two things can be helpful. Um, We also, for the liver, love metabolic switching. Every time you go into a fast, you are cleaning this liver up. So like I just got done doing a three day water fast and I can just feel my whole body working better. So you might need to like switch in and out of sugar burner, fat burner as much as possible to clean that liver up. And so that liver gets a little hormetic stress. If you don't know what that is, go dive into other videos. I've talked a lot about it. Um, So that's the liver. Okay, gallbladder, gallbladder. The purpose of the gallbladder, it's not just to break down fats. When the liver gets over and inundated with toxins, it has to have like a sidekick that it can go and store those toxins where those toxins need to live. And it stores it in the gallbladder. And then the gallbladder has got all this bile in there. So every time you eat good fat, not bad fat, every time you eat good fat, what you're doing is you're causing bile to be released. Plus with that release come those toxins that are causing the bloat. So supporting the gallbladder, only committing to good fats, not bad fats. I've talked a lot about that here on my channel. And then using some detox protocols. Okay, pancreas. Now, I think we all know this, that the pancreas, what the name of the game is just make sure it doesn't have to make too much insulin. If it has to work all day long, think about how you feel when you work all day long. I feel like your pancreas is the same way. If you're constantly eating sugars, if you're constantly eating carbs, if you're constantly eating the bad fats, that pancreas is like insulin, 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 and it gets overworked. And if it gets overworked, it keeps pushing insulin into the small intestine. The small intestine is overworked. It's gonna start to create congestion in this common bile duct, which I'll talk about in a moment. So you want to make sure that to heal the pancreas, you gotta bring that insulin load down. Now I'm also gonna throw out some things that I rarely talk about, but I know a lot of you are fasting experts here. Okay, I gotta interrupt this video because I have a free guide for you so you can master fasting. It's called a beginner's guide to a fasting lifestyle. And all you've gotta do is click here and you can jump right in. The fast mimicking diet, Prolon, that box of of food, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, you can go Google it. It's pre-packaged food that is meant to keep glucose down, keep you in a state of autophagy, and scientifically has been proven to repair the pancreas. And then fasting variations. We can heal the pancreas by making sure that we go into these six different fasts that I teach here. Everything from 13 to 72 hour fast, varying those, each one heals the pancreas. So again, I love fasting, let's vary it so we can heal all the organs, but specifically the pancreas. Okay, last thing, this is dense, I know. And don't worry, we're, I already told my team, we're gonna make squares and put it on the community page. We'll put it on, on uh, Instagram, on Facebook, so you guys can, we can chunk this down. So just take this in, you might need to come back and watch this video again, but we're gonna chunk it down for you. The common bile duct, this is a massive culprit for bloating, for detoxing. I was just talking to somebody this morning who asked me why she gained two pounds while fasting. And the answer to that can often be these detox pathways and the common bile duct is a detox pathway. So let's think about this from your body's perspective. 
this little thin straw right here is taking all the toxins out of your liver. It's taking all the toxins and bile out of your gallbladder and it's dumping it into the small intestine. But if your small intestine it has massive dysbiosis in it, this small intestine is always also pushing up into this thin bile duct. It's also pushing up all of these bad bacteria. And if there's insulin chronically being dumped in the, into this area, that's also getting pushed up. So this little thin straw can't take the Western diet anymore. So it's, ha it's struggling and can need help. So there's two ways we can help it. One, coffee enemas. This is why so many people are crazy about coffee enemas. I know it's not for everybody, but you can definitely coffee enemas will open this up and heal the common bile duct. If you're not a fan of coffee enemas, the second one is castor oil packs. Putting castor oil and the pack over there can create some dilation in that area so it opens this common bile duct. The other one that we're using a lot in my academy is called Xenoplex. And you can, you can find it on Revelation Health. So you can go find that on Revelation Health. If you don't know how to find it, just put Xenoplex in the comments and my team will send you a link. So that's another way. Now, having said all of that, you might be sitting there going, okay, awesome, great information, where do I start? There are a couple of the tricks that I have used over the years in practice that are like my go-to for bloating and this situation. And one of them is the metabolic clearing kit. This encompasses all five of these solutions. So if you're looking for a complete system, this is an option for you. Just put in the comments, metabolic clearing kit, and that can be a resource that you can purchase and use to help stop the flow. But it's complicated and this is the path out. I Like no joke. Like if you just wanted the condensed version of what you do, this is it. So if you love this video, you're gonna wanna check out this video. If you have SIBO, the opposite will happen. You'll actually end up getting more bloated. So you would actually avoid fiber and go into some of these other hacks that I'm gonna give you right here.